No, I think this is rather an amusing anecdote. The painter refusing to sign because the painting is uncompleted. And uh, I liked it uncompleted and therefore bought it, brought it home. And ten years later, I got the painter to come to my home and, and, and sign it. And another ten years later, I had friends uh, who liked it so much that I wrote to the painter and I wrote to her why I liked it and especially because the unfinished part that is the fact that the face is only sketched and not really painted that this added to the interest of the painting because uh, it is uh, it adds to the mystery somehow of this uh, central person so there it was and she was very very pleased with my letter would you say that all uh, great art has a mystery, something that you can't solve? That uh, most great works of art have a mystery, something that you can't really solve. Quite, quite, quite. I've liked this, and my wife have liked, has liked this very much. And it took me years until I understood what uh, what we really liked, you see. Uh, it's, it's a daydream of this woman that she lives in a Roman environment and uh, that she is... Uh, she, she has a dress that dates back to the 1900s. And the whole thing is very dreamlike, I think. How do you understand the woman in the background? Have well, I think this is she walking through the Roman um, environment, the, the Roman monuments, and uh, she pictures herself uh, almost a century earlier walking through that and, and that's part of the dream. I mean, this is my interpretation. I have never uh, tried to compare it with anybody else's. But we liked it. And I told you, we gave each one the other one half. <laughs> Which I half? gave the left half to Suzanne okay. and she gave me the right <laughs> half because it was a marriage, uh, marriage anniversary celebration. Yeah.